the path to liberating humanity is the same as a path to liberating the individual. Saul Luckman. From the moment my experience led me to look into it, everything slowly became the same game or trap once again, just through comparison alone. It becomes dogmatic and eventually the antithesis to what one would think enlightenment would be for a collective. My soul was awakened, my life was transformed, and I had so many beautiful mystical experiences that others said were only possible if this or that were a part of me. All of which were so far from my own personal experience of what I will now call being enlightened. Because to me, enlightenment is truly knowing that you know nothing. <laughs> you know nothing but your own experience of God. And that's it, that's it, yeah, that's it, 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 that's it. Because we're all able to see how far we can take that within this realm of hijacked perceptions, perceived limitations, and a blatant war against God. Yet getting a collective to even agree on what enlightenment is would seem to be challenging. For each illumination will cast shadows that make others feel you are anything but illuminated. I can only imagine how I made others feel the moment I started getting the downloads. So I think in theory, if a collective can get to a place of empowerment by at least agreeing that we are the creator and that harming one another is truly harming oneself, then I think beautiful change will transpire. I also think the moment there are differing experiences of this knowing of God, well, here we go again. Except maybe this time it could be discourse instead of war. Even though I feel all of that is by design, it may forever be that way within this realm. Just another part of the construct to enlighten ourselves on. It all starts to be more and more about the individual, more about one's philosophy than it is any stage of enlightenment. For that, we would need a collective of philosophers. Maybe then we'd be enlightened. Who knows?